one thing occurs to me, this idea of, of, of you know, gr growing financial <laughs> independence. We've seen that before. I'm thinking of the Count Countess of Wessex, for example, you know, TV production company, the, the PR company, and in the end, the Queen ended up giving them money so they wouldn't be doing that any longer. Can you see that working? So I, I think you can see it working, and I think it's just a, you know, a question of imagination, a question of will. And at the end of the day, for me, you know, I have a lot of sympathy for Harry and Meghan. I think they've been given a really rough ride. You just have to look at some of the coverage over, you know, over the overnight um, around their decision, which has been really vile and excessive, uh, to see that actually it's been hugely unfair. And I think. In part, it's because Meghan doesn't conform to what people, some people expect uh, a royal should look like, should act like. And so she's been given a really tough time. And I think it's wrong and I think it's really sad. And so, you know, I think they're a young family. They've literally just had a baby. That's pretty tough in its own right. And they're under a huge amount of pressure. They've been really honest about, you know, how unhappy they are, about mental health issues that they're struggling with. And I say, you know, they had a break and they decided we want to change things. We want to focus on ourselves and our kid. And I think they're completely right and I say fair play to that. But I do think it shines a spotlight yet again on the royal family, on the monarchy. And, you know, I think that, you know, the monarchy are part of our culture, our tradition, our history. But it needs to be reformed and it needs to be brought it back into the 21st century. And for me, that means both constitutional reform so that we're no longer a nation of subjects, but we're a nation of citizens, through to the fact that it needs to be scaled down so that they're less ro royals, and the fact that we have this very privileged, very wealthy family that should be financially independent, but also actually wealth that they have accumulated through centuries that they have inherited, they should be giving it back, some of it back, to the public because in the end, it belongs to us.